بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد The world is filled with deception وما الحياة الدنيا إلا متاع الغرور One level of deception is that a person has been given this amana of this body and the equation doesn't match up where a person is not particular about what they consume. So a person spends money on a commodity which is harmful, poisonous, toxic, contaminated. So here you take in your hard-earned wealth, income, which much sacrifice was given, and paying for something which is completely detrimental, unhealthy, unwholesome, and toxic. There cannot be a greater deception among the deceptions that this body which was going to be used optimally for the ibadat and the worship and finding Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now gets destroyed in this process. So effectively a person is paying for their own destruction. Look at a simple thing like Coca-Cola, a cold drink, fuzzy drinks. So they say in the world 55 billion servings of different beverages are drunk every day. 1.7 billion are the Coca-Cola trademarked licensed drinks. And around 1.9 billion servings on an average every day are enjoyed by consumers in 200 countries. As if a person decides to drink every beverage just by the Coca-Cola company, per day, it would take nine years to, to try them all. And just a revenue, $35.1 billion, it makes up the 84th largest economy in the world, ahead of Costa Rica. We had to take the 250 ml bottles of every Coke that was produced, lay them end to end, we were able to reach the moon and back over 2,000 times. And the logo is so famous that it is recognized by 94% of the world's population. Now in just a single can of cola, there's approximately 37 grams of sugar, which is almost... 8 to 10 teaspoons of sugar. And they say in 2015 study, 184,000 global deaths were attributed to the consumption of sugary drinks. Now the last series on Qiyamah we discussed in detail. But this is part of the deception and that's why it's been highlighted again. And a person who's consuming this, they say within 40 minutes, the body absorbs all the caffeine. The caffeine causes the pupils to dilate, blood pressure increases, and the receptors of the brain become blocked and it prevents drowsiness. After five minutes, dopamine production is increased. What is dopamine? It is a neurotransmitter which helps control our centers in our brain for pleasure, for reward, to give that person that extra kick. So Coca-Cola stimulates, soda drink stimulates these centers and research say it gives you the same effect of heroin and that triggers the brain center where a person wants a similar drink. So in the olden days when we are told to drink milk, it is healthy, now when a person chooses this, they have a replacement and now you abandon all the natural drinks which are rich 
in protein, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, vitamins, etc. So this is a food displacement. Then the dahams of tooth decay, then it is a cause for decrease in the bone mineral density, which in children and in adults, it makes your bones fragile and can break easily. Then it has been attributed to an uh, increase in obesity, high blood pressure, cholesterol, clot in arteries. Then the caffeine alone, because these things need caffeine, uh, it's a cause of kidney stones. Any person who doesn't have it has withdrawal symptoms, headaches, fatigue, the alertness becomes at a low level, they become depressed, they become very irritable. Then in cola there's benzene, which has been attributed to causing cancer, a carcinogen. So, a person is paying money for their own destruction. Then we spoke about fast food. There was a book, Fast Food Nation. The Observer says on this book here, and there's many books have been written, and I, at that time we said we're not going to get into detail, but just to understand the gravity of us going out, eating takeaways, we're paying money for our own destruction. Fast Food Nation has lifted the polystyrene lid on the global fast food industry and sparked a storm that is mentioned by the observer. We look at the evening standard. This book has wiped that smirk off the happy meal. Thanks to this man, you will never eat a burger again. The Daily Mail, startling, junk food, we learn, is just that left this reader vowing never to set foot in one of these outlets again. The Times, this book tells you more than you really want to know when you chomp in that burger. Have a nice day. Listen, you should love so long. So that's what they're just saying about the book. But if we get into it and we do research, it's another ball game. So there's Doka and there's deception. So from our foods to normal things like shampoo, body wash, face wash, mouthwash, toothpaste. There's sodium, laurel sulfate, SLS, and it contributes to skin irritation, sores, disruption of the natural skin barrier function. Our bodies secrete oil, it causes an imbalance causes eye damage, it clogs the pores. Then in perfume, exfoliants, butylated hydroxyl, BHA. So this also has been proven to affect the reproductive system, reproductive development, thyroid hormone levels, and the European Union considers it unsafe for fragrances. Then triclosan, triclocarbon, which we find in our deodorants, antibacterial soap, toothpaste. The research shows it completely has no benefits at all, and it was ruled out that these products have been linked to hormonal disruptions, bacterial resistance, impaired muscle function, impaired immune function, increased allergies. Then hair dye and shampoos, coal tar, aminophenol, it's a, these are byproducts of the coal processing, and exposure resources say it's a human carcinogen, and uh, hairstylists, other professionals use this in dyes, in Europe and FDA, some of these products have been widely not uh, 
endorsed. So although it's been sanctioned, but uh, the harms have been dem demonstrated. Then moisturizers, gel, shampoo, lubricants, uh, these contain parabens. And studies show that it disrupts your endocrines, it uh, mimics estrogen, uh, it promotes cancer, skin cancer, and other harms. Then PEGs in scrubs, body wash, makeup. So the makeup that we are putting, outwardly it's making us look good. It's a makeup, but it's actually a break up because this cause skin irritation. It, it, it accelerates aging. Then petroleum in products, then there's a host, oxybenzone and toline, hydroquinone. Let us study all these products that we are using and we will realize how disastrous and dangerous and harmful they are and we'll stay far away from it. So the point is that a person is so much deceived, deceived that they will pay money, they will pay their hard-earned wealth to secure something that is dangerous. So even in the food, so it is known that you're giving us beans. Now beans are healthy, but the sayings come, the quote that they're giving us beans means they're giving you something that's not good. So even psychologically we've been aligned to concepts which are disastrous. A teacher asked the students to use the word beans in a sentence. So the child said, my father grows beans. Another student gave a reply, my mother cooks beans. The third student didn't know what to say. So he said, we are, we are all human beings. We are all human beings. So food, we need to be careful about the food, the products that we use. And sometimes we have to listen, not just hear, but listen and practice. A boy asked his father dead, are bugs good to eat? So the father said, that's disgusting. Don't talk about things like that over dinner. So after dinner, the father asked, now son, what was that you were asking me about? So he said, nothing. The bug was in your soup, but now it's gone. The bug was in your soup, but now it's gone. So we need to listen. Takeaways. It has become common to old friends cross paths after not seeing one another for many, many years. So the one friend said, what are you doing these days? So he replied, PhD. He said, wow, you've got a PhD? You are a doctor? I never fathomed you achieving something like this in life. Your pro profile doesn't fit. You are not the intelligent type. That's what he was alluding to. So he replied, no, no, PhD, pizza home delivery. They do home deliveries. One person said he used to work in a, a, a takeaway, a fast food place. So he said what really, really cracked him up is when a, a fat, a obese customer, a person who has excess adipose tissue, if you're going to be diplomatic, somebody who has excess adipose tissue. So he orders a quadruple stacked cheeseburger with extra sauce, extra mayonnaise, tons and tons of fries. And at the end he says, can I have a small diet Coke? Can I have a small diet Coke? So we double standards. We console ourselves. We have in diet this, diet that. We, may, we need to wake up and smell the coffee. So they say there are only four food groups. The fast, the frozen, the instant, and the sweet. The four groups are the fast, the frozen, the instant, and the sweet. And then people are into dieting nowadays. So dieting, again, most of it out there is a scam. It's a deception. We need to come out of that. Follow Sunnah, fast Mondays, Thursdays, a yummy beef when we need to do cupping, do our cupping, when we need to do bloodletting, do bloodletting, when we eat, eat one third, 
don't have three full meals. Imam Ghazali and the details were explained previously. One third for water. We don't drink water six to eight glasses every day. Anything with sugar in it, stay far away. Tibe Nawiye, stay close to it. And anything where you're closest to the source, you planted something and you harvested it, you're closest to the source. Your own borehole and you're drinking from your own borehole, you're closest to the source. So try to stick closest to the source. Speaking about dieting, a group of business women who are quite affluent, one day were at a dawit. So they decided to order out. So one said, you know, you, you look like you're getting slim and uh, you've lost weight. So the one said, you know what, I've been following those very high protein diets. I've been following those very high protein diets. No, it's just expensive steak, expensive chops. So he said, she said, it's a miracle. Would you believe it? In two weeks, I lost $300. In two weeks, I lost $300. So most of it is money making. We do it for one, two, three weeks. We console ourselves. We lost 5, 10, 15 kilos. Back to our own routines, our whole life, we diet in picking up weight, diet in picking up weight. It's a deception. And then we're always ready to blame others. A very frustrated mother burst into a baker's shop and said, I sent my son for two kilos of cookies this morning, and when I weighed them, it was only one kilo. I need you to check your scales. She was very upset. So the baker looked at her calmly, relaxed for a moment or two, and said, Ma'am, I would suggest you first weigh your son. I would suggest you first weigh your son. This is the one kilo he ate it. I gave him two kilos. Why are you coming to me? So it's all double standards. There was a one obese girl that went into a cafe, a restaurant, and she started ordering. So she ordered two slices of apple pie, four scoops of ice cream. She laced it with toppings, chocolate, sauces. So when she was done, then the person serving said, would you like a cherry on the top? Would you like a cherry on the top? So she said, no thanks. I'm on a diet. No thanks. I'm on a diet. So same thing. We diet for that short period and then we catch up everything that we missed out on. Look at Dean. Look at the solutions. Saba said we came to the Nabi of Allah. We lifted our kurtas, hajr and hajr. There was a stone on each of us. Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam lifted his kurta mubarak. And there were two stones tied to his belly. They say some women were discussing what they should have for dinner. So one said, if you know you're really watching your weight, then there's a new thing called frozen diet dinners. So it's frozen, you order it. So the other lady said, you know what, if we're going to order this, let's get two or three of them. One is not enough for me. Husband and wife wanted to lose weight. So they were following the diet very specifically, followed the instructions, followed the recipe. They thought so they were losing weight, but they started picking up weight. So they decided to check the recipe. And they found that in the small print it was written, serve six Serves six. So Sunnah is the solution. Allah sent us for a short term to utilize these bodies for Allah's obedience. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the reality. The amal for today is Man aqal akhahu bay'an. That you did a transaction, somebody comes, they're not happy, they want to cancel it, they want to nullify it. And you nullify the transaction, you return their funds, you return the product. أَقَالَهُ اللَّهُ عَثْرَتَهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will overlook his faults, protect him, and save him on the day of Qiyamah. So how we will look others over others' faults? Allah will overlook our faults. وَآخِرُ دَعْوَانَا نِلْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ